Davidson here. Today we're going to talk about playing fast on guitar, or more specifically, playing at fast tempos. I think it's really important to have some methods of approaching fast tempos on guitar, and today I'm going to share with you some of the approaches that I've taken to develop this area of my playing. Before we get started, it would be great if you could hit like on this video so that we can push the video out to even more people and continue building my channel. And if you haven't, make sure to hit subscribe down below and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. And while you're at it, make sure to check out my music, online courses and bundle packages at my website, including the new Modern Soloing Bundle, where I'll show you my approach to soloing with triads, pentatonic scales and a whole lot more. So why are fast tempos important? Is it just mindless fast playing with no soul? Or is there something more to it? You might have seen some of my videos right here on my channel where I've approached some well-known sets of chord changes at 300 BPM or higher. And to some extent, these videos have served as something of a technical exercise so that I could keep my playing in shape. But beyond just being a mere technical exercise, developing your playing so that you can solo at fast tempos enables you to have a more cohesive flow of ideas on the guitar neck. And in the long run, this will make it easier for you to execute lines at any tempo, slow, medium, or incredibly fast. Working on fast tempos requires that you already have a certain degree of improvisational or soloing language that you can execute on the guitar neck. Beyond this, you've got to find your fastest tempo. That is, the fastest tempo at which you can comfortably solo. Only you can work out what your fastest tempo is, and if you're in any way feeling discomfort while you're trying to work this out, make sure you stop playing, take a break, and slow the tempo down to something even more comfortable. So let's say that your fastest tempo is 220 BPM, for example. Well, that's a nice medium to up tempo. So if we were to play with the metronome on one and three, at 220 BPM, it might sound a bit like this. In jazz and improvised music, we're often told to practice with the metronome occurring on beats two and four of a given bar. So it would sound something a bit like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But in this exercise, we're going to utilize the metronome occurring on beats one and three. The reason being that as the tempo increases in speed, we're really going to need to know where beat one is in each bar. And it sounds something like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. To help us with building up a bit of speed when we're soloing on the guitar neck, we're going to increase the tempo by 10 BPM, which will bring our total tempo to 230 BPM. By increasing the tempo in small increments of 10 BPM at a time, we'll be able to very gradually increase speed and dexterity on the guitar neck. Let's hear what this would sound like, again with the metronome on 1 and 3. And from there, you can keep on incrementally increasing your tempo by 10 BPM to 20 BPM at a time, depending on how you feel, and eventually reach your desired fast tempo. This is exactly what I did to develop speed on the guitar neck while soloing and improvising. I don't really have any special tricks, it really just comes down to your relationship with the pulse. It's also really important to listen to great soloists playing at fast tempos, and perhaps it's even more important to get together with other musicians and try and work out fast tempos together in the moment and try to make it as musical as possible. If you have any additional questions, make sure to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching today. 
I hope that this relatively simple approach to fast tempos might be of use to you. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit like down below and also make sure to hit subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. And also check out my music, online courses and bundle packages at my website. I'll see you next time.